All right, I'm going to introduce our guest chef here on Man Cave Munchies. This is Rich Sadler. Hey folks, um, we're going to make a real simple dish today. It's, going to, it's called Maggie Mushrooms. In fact, the star of the show is this right here. It's a, it's a Maggie sauce. Typically, you know, these guys when they do Man Cave Munchies, they don't mention brand names. In this case, we have to. Okay, so we're going to start with these mushrooms right here. Now granted, they're pretty large mushroom, mushrooms, and since this is going to be an appetizer, uh, they're going to be um, a little bit bigger than you need because we'll sieve them with toothpicks. So what we're going to start out doing is just grab a few of these guys and go ahead and maybe slice them in quarters, something like that. Okay, that's about what we'll do. So if you notice, we got the ones that we could, I got ones large enough that I could do quarters in. And imagine later you'll see a toothpick in each one of these guys. So that's about a bite size, especially as it draws down when the cooking process is going to shrink a little bit. So let me get get to these things, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so folks, we, we obviously got the uh, got the mushrooms all, all cut up here, so we're going to get them in the bowl and just get them out of the way for now, okay? Because then we move on with the rest of our prep. This is a simple and easy dish, but it's, it's all in the prep. Once you get all the prep done, then it's going to come together like that. So let's start now on uh, showing you how to julienne some basil. Okay, here we got some real fresh basil. Can you smell that? Oh, man, it's amazing stuff. So <clears throat> what you do is you take your leaves off of the... The, uh, the stalk here, just take them off, lay them down, and stack them on top of each other. And what you do is you just roll them like so. And once you got them rolled, then just simply slice through them. Just like that. And what you have now is strips. That's called julienne. Okay? So we're going to get that together. In fact, now once you get the strips done, then you can cross, go across them and get them even finer. They also call it a chif chiffonade. Isn't that a silly name? Sounds like a girl name, right? But uh, it's effective. And we're going to throw these on top of the Maggie mushrooms when we're done. Okay, we're going to do garlic now and uh, slice, uh, chop up the garlic. But I wanted to point out here something. Take a look at this garlic clip, folks. If you want to choose correct garlic, look for one that's really tight and it's got a, an end there. Okay, and then when you go to pull off the paper, as they call it, you just want to pull it like that and then just take your thumb and move down each one of them like, like so. See how that works? And then the, then the cloves will just pop off. Okay? And just move down and you'll reveal each one of the cloves. And you just want to get clove after clove after clove. Now, of course, here, you've probably seen this before, but you just take the clove and you put your knife on it like that. Make sure the blade's faced away. And just hit and smash it down. Once you get it down, it opens it up a little bit. You can then take that little heel off. Take the heel off and sometimes it'll just come right out of the paper. So no big deal. Just out of, see how simple this is? <laughs> Let's do this one. You gotta hit it harder. <laughs> okay, so you just, just smack it down and then just take it off, take the heel off of there and just comes right out of the paper clean like that. And then of course you can line them up. I'll, as you can see, I like using my knife to get things out of the way. And just line them up and slice across. Okay, and then if you want them, to, that's, Another show, we'll show you how to make garlic chips. Those are garlic chips right there, but just slice these down quite substantially. You're going to want some diced garlic. Think and you I'll, got enough there, uh, Rich? I think so. We <laughs> like garlic around here, right? It's good about, for your immune system. About, about 12 cloves, something like that. <laughs> so that's it, and then we'll start the Maggie mushrooms. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start heating up our mushrooms. Now keep in mind there's a lot of fluid in mushrooms, so we'll want to kind of sweat that out. So I got, I got the pan heated. I'll turn it down just a little bit. In this case, I like to use a little olive oil or EVOO, that's extra virgin olive oil, and a little bit of butter. Why do we do that? Because the butter's going to add a little flavor, but the oil is going to help it not stick, and you don't want the butter to brown. So just kind of move that around in there. If you just use only butter, it's going to brown too quick. So just use a combination of the two. And then we're going to put our, our mushrooms in there and sweat those down a little bit. And what I mean by sweat is uh, we, want the, we want the mushrooms to, go, to draw down and let their liquid come out. You don't want to really to come to a frying position. You don't want it to go too fast because then you may burn them. So just let them sweat down. And you'll do it by hearing it. If you start hearing it sizzle and crackle and pop, too high. Just draw it down a little bit. And another thing that helps it, it, uh, sometimes is if you want to sweat these out, again, make sure you're listening for it. But to take a top and place it right on top of it. And what that's going to do is going to create like a little oven inside there and it's going to sweat them down a little quicker. So try that. We've uh, sauteed our, our, um, our mushrooms here, as you can see. Take the top off here. And, but you can see the little fluid in there. So we want to get rid of that fluid. Okay. I know you're wondering why. Maybe there's some good, good uh, flavor in the, the fluid. But it, you'll, you'll notice later as to why we're doing this. Or you can cheat. In fact, we can <laughs> cheat and we can use this guy here. It's the magic of television. It was just handed to me. Look at that. That's amazing. I love it. 
Okay, so let's go back over to the, the stove and we'll, we'll make a little pool area in the center of this thing and that's where we're going to drop a little bit of butter and then our garlic in there. Now why are we doing that? It's because we're going to put our garlic. And I'd say just about, what is that? Maybe a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half, just to get them real garlic up and get that flavor there. Okay, welcome back. Now we've got our, our mushrooms going on here with our garlic in the center. The reason we did that is we didn't want to cook our mushrooms much further, but we did want to get the garlic going. So now that we got it going on, we can just mix all this up and then we're gonna go to Flavor Town with, <laughs> with some sour cream. Okay, we dump some sour cream in there. Now, keep in mind, you can use uh, you can use yogurt, but the challenge is it's tough to find plain yogurt. Don't be using strawberry or blueberry yogurt, folks. But, um, uh, but, so sour cream is a lot easier to find, and just go ahead and dump it right in there. I'll just dump some right in the center there for just now, because I want it to start um, start going down and get more a little translucent. And after I've done that, then we're gonna bring in the, the Maggie sauce. The secret sauce. sauce. Okay, the Maggie sauce. And just hit those mushrooms all around with the Maggie stuff. And please do not, in this dish, do not put salt in this because this Maggie sauce is like a soy sauce but it's a very unique flavor and it's going to cover that for you. So just get these things soaked down. And remember we drained it before? Remember we drained it? The reason we did is because we were putting this in and the sour cream and we want, if you did don't drain it, it's going to uh, thin out that flavor. So you want to uh, make sure you drain that and then put this right back in there. And, you're flavoring them up. And these mushrooms will act like a, a sponge. They'll just draw this stuff right back in, this flavor. So let me stir this up real good and then we'll get, uh, we'll get plating it. And while I'm, while I'm stirring this, I gotta share a story. I had, uh, I've served this at parties, many parties before, and uh, I've actually had my life threatened if I didn't share this recipe. So you guys are pretty fortunate here because now you get to go online, man cave munchies, and get the recipe. Makes sense, right? So there we go. We got the, the uh, Maggie mushrooms, all done and incorporated. Now we're going to plate it. Just throw it right on a plate, some sort of serving plate of some sort. And don't forget the, uh, the basil that we did earlier. Just kind of sprinkle it around there and incorporate it. And then notice I left a little spot in the center. Why would we do that? It's because we're going to put some toothpicks there. And there's your appetizer, Maggie mushrooms. Thanks. And see the recipe on Man Cave Munchies.